Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do your own maintenance for your power unit for your PC. If your PC power unit is overheating or you realize the fan is not spinning, then this video is for you. To know if your fan is spinning well or no, here, for example, in this one, you can, I put my screwdriver right there and I can see the fan is not actually rotating for nothing. So we're gonna open it up and see what is causing this issue. And while we do that, and we're gonna clean it. Before we start in doing this one, I wanna make sure that you have to drain all the power from the capacitors in here. So the easier way to do it is to grab a, a wires or a tweezers like this. And you wanna shorten the green and the black cable right here. So follow the pins comes here and you wanna put it there and leave it there for about a minute. After a minute, then you can go ahead and remove this and work on it. Also, you want extra precautions. You can shorten these connectors at the here for about two or three seconds uh, with a screwdriver, just like that. And that's it. Now let's get into it. To open it up, normally at the bottom of the, or on the sides, or at the bottom, there's a four screws. You want to find these four screws. One is under the sticker, warranty sticker. So we want to remove these four screws. You can use a magnet on your screwdriver to pick up the screw faster. I'm using a flat screwdriver. These are not flat screwdriver, but I don't want to go around looking for a different screwdriver. Once you remove it, just make sure you have to rip this paper out. Lift up the cover. And there we have it. I can see a tiny issue here. So there's a silicon here, which is melted from the board, I guess. It went right through the fan. So we're gonna remove all this nonsense. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna, we don't wanna gonna touch anything here, try not to touch any of them, but we already discharged them. So don't worry about it. So all we wanna do, we wanna remove the fan. To remove the fan, there's a four screws, one on the sticker. Remove the four screws. All right, once you remove the four screws, actually I have one more left. Now you can pull out the fan. You don't need to disconnect the cable or cut the cable. Some fans come with a jack, you can unhook the jack and work on it. Oh look, there's more stuff falling out. So if you look at it, the fan is really, really tough to rotate. So we're gonna pull it out. In order to pull these fans out, you wanna remove the sticker at the back. I call this service cover. Remove the rubber in the middle. Now, right down there, you wanna see a C lock. There's a plastic, it's called a C lock. You wanna remove this C lock right there. So, you gotta use your tweezers. Try not to break it. If you have to use two tweezers, all right, let me grab another tweezers, right? We wanna remove this white plastic right there. It has a cut right in the middle. There we go. So you wanna remove it nicely. So this is very important. This prevents the fan coming out. So keep that. Now you can actually pull the fan out just push it from this side it is kind of stuck i don't know why just slowly push it outward and it will come out i can see it is very rusted the pin in the middle there's no lubrication or nothing in there so we're gonna clean it with an alcohol and we're gonna use a working towel I'm 
into the massing and then you want to jam it right in there and then you want to do a few rotations and remove all the dirt pin right in the middle just do a few passes you have to make sure it's really really not soft and it's smooth Also, you can go ahead and wash the whole thing if you want. There's nothing wrong with it. And make sure you dry it nicely. All right, now that the pin is really clean, the inside, you're gonna work on this one. We're gonna grab an alcohol. We're gonna clean it with a toothbrush. Gently clean the metal pin. Grab a Q-tip. You can grab your Q-tip and just clean as much as you can. You see this dirt right there? Uh, you want to clean the other side? Okay, you see this tiny rubber, it came out, so that rubber goes with a some of them, they come with a rubber, some they don't. So if it comes with it, keep it. You wanna be using it. Now, other thing is to cut the Q-tip with the pliers. And you wanna clean inside the pin. Just do a few passes. Make sure there's no other extra dirt in there. Doing a circle motion. All right. That should be all. Now you're gonna clean up, dry it out. Now that it's dried out, you wanna grab our uh, oil. I'll leave in the link in the description what kind of oil I'm using. With a syringe, you can actually lubricate this one a little bit. You want to put a drop, so you don't want to put like a, a leader or anything like that. You want to lubricate on the back side, like a four drops, and rotate, put a few tiny drops on this side. All right. Now make sure there's not extra dirt or anything around. Uh, one thing I see that the whole thing is lifted, but I guess that's normal. All right, now we're gonna grab the fan here, and we're gonna put it right on top, and we're gonna put it inside. Now you see the difference? This is the difference of the doing your own maintenance for your fan. Now this fan actually can work when I see, obviously this fan, it goes out and comes out if I turn it on. So that's why we have the C lock right there to hold it in place. Now what are we gonna do? We wanna grab the rubber band right there, put the rubber band right in the middle. Uh, push it all the way down. And now uh, grab the seal lock, place the seal lock right on top and you need to fill the bottom something so the fan doesn't go down but you're gonna press on it now with the two tweezers you want to push on both sides so it goes down you're gonna hit a tiny clip and that's it once you have it in this position you want to fill up with like a three to four drop of like an oil right there, three to four drop, no more. One, two, just a little bit. You don't want to do overdo. If you overdo it, you're going to spillage and uh, that's not good. Grab the cover, clean up the cover with an alcohol because you want it to seal it. You don't want any oil right on the cover. Uh, 
right and then put the cover right on top now you can use either the same sticker or if it doesn't have any stickiness grab a foil tape you just want to cut a little bit of foil tape right there and just do a, a little bit of circular thing and that's it now we're gonna put this one on top as I have my gloves on, I can do this, so I'm going to try to do it. There. Now, this one is going to hold the cover, so the cover won't come out. Leave it like that. You can take a picture of this one, that's the information, it's a 12 volt, 0.14 amp, and the model if you want to change it. Now there is a new fan, a nice and smooth. So now you save yourself a few bucks just by doing this. Put the fan in a position, doesn't matter which position you put it in. And place the four screws at the back for the fan first. Uh, once you have these screws right there now the last thing is to grab the top cover it's easy to know which way it went because remember the paper that we ripped the other side of the paper is still in here so you know where it goes just press it on top remember at the bottom there's this kind of hinge right here it has to go inside the cover all right and on the other side same thing put it right underneath and the last thing is to place the four screws right okay this one is a cheap power unit so place the four screws right on top and once you have the screws right there and now we are ready and you can see like the difference i can actually rotate this debris, they come, there's a silicone that they put inside to hold the capacitors and stuff like that. As it heats up, it just sucks back into the fan. So that's why you need to do your maintenance often every year or two uh, to prevent buying a new one. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, you know where to leave it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.